Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your website or your WordPress website or your e-commerce website, whatever website using Plesk and Nginx. So it's very simple. Um, I'm actually going to just go into WordPress right here. The website we're going to be speeding up is my rootpaldemo.com website. So if we pop it open and you see the website, it's using WordPress. It's using a theme. The theme is well built. It's very uh, responsive. It's good. It's clean. There's not a lot of JavaScript and CSS everywhere. So this is a well built theme already. And sometimes you might have, you might not get that when you buy a theme, you might be very heavy and load your website really fat or really slow. It might be very database intensive. So let's go ahead and run it through GT metrics. So G GT metrics is a great tool to help you show what's slowing your website down. And so after running it here, we're going to see the specific things that are slowing down our website and things we can fix to make our website load faster. All right, great. So we got a report and that's not too bad. Like I said, we're on a great server. Uh, RootPal has really great servers. Um, and so a lot of this stuff is just, hey, you're on a fast server a good network it's going to load quick but we can actually do better than this um so let's see this server response time that's because it has to touch the database and you know uh, it's a wordpress website let's see some of this static asset stuff that we can cache it's potentially you know if an efficient efficient caching policy we could, we could make this you know we could, we could probably get this to both a 94 95 with nginx enabled so right now this isn't bad the site loaded in two seconds the first ttfb time to first byte was in 850 milliseconds but let's try and beat that so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the wordpress toolkit and root pals plesk servers all have nginx caching ready to go so typically you know you can install a wordpress plugin to achieve the same effect to make your website load faster um, you have to pay for it you have to you know do all these little things they'll sell you ads on the plugin or whatever that's not needed it's just a one click button in the wordpress toolkit so all i'm going to do is click this caching nginx and that's it that's it that's all you have to do so now we're going to go back to rupal demo load it up and you won't be able to tell because it's already loading so fast. It's loading under a mil like one second. So we got to run it through GT metrics one more time. So while we're waiting, you know, there's also a lot of other things you can do to speed up your WordPress website or your Joomla website or whatever. Um, and so GT metrics is a great tool to see what you can clean up and see if you can, you know, customize and fix those mi the minuscule things that they say, Hey, this is slowing your website down just a tad. So, wow, look at this 94, 91. Perfect. And so now we don't have that reduced server response time. It's cached, it's instant. And our time to first byte is at 440, 447 milliseconds amazing this is a website loading super quick and it's awesome so that's it i mean we got a good a grade a scale uh it's a one click button there's other things you can do i'll well I'll make a new another video on other things you can do to speed up your website um in wordpress but i mean it's hard to get better than two a's that's that's a really great score um for your website so yeah, that's it. I hope you liked the video and I'll be sh posting more about um, how to speed up your WordPress website or your websites uh, with Plesk and RootPal. Thank you. Sorry, one last thing before I end the video. So I ran the test again. I was able to get it uh, under 1.5 seconds loading with a 
smaller time to first byte GTFB uh, than the last test from when Nginx. So and GT Metrics is going to show different scores every single time you run it just because they're not a perfect software. It's, you know, sometimes the website loads faster than it does. Uh, you know, the second time or the third time or the fourth time, you're going to get a different result, almost different every single time. Sometimes you'll get it the same, but you know, it's relatively around the same. As you can see, you know, it's pretty close to the same. Uh, but one thing that you're probably wondering is, well, how do I enable Nginx for a website that isn't WordPress, you know, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing we're going to do, I mean, for, first thing I want to show you is the caching Nginx right here. So if we click this, you'll be able to see the Apache and Nginx settings for rupaldemo.com. These are all the Nginx settings you can modify, um, you know, to make your caching a little bit better. I suggest just using the uh, default that's enabled and it has the best settings. But let's say you go to your web, your domains, and let's say we're using Joomla or Drupal or some other software that you want Nginx enabled, and you don't have WordPress, and you don't have that plugin, you don't have WordPress toolkit. We're gonna go into PHP settings under DevTools in Plesk, and we're gonna go uh, in here, and by default, you're gonna be using the fast CGI application served by Apache or Apache, whatever you want to say. But what we're going to do is we're going to change it to Nginx. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to click apply. And that is how you enable Nginx for a website that isn't WordPress, that isn't WordPress in Plesk. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. I hope everyone's using Nginx. Nginx is powerful. It can help process thousands, tens of thousands of users at the same time for your website without, you know, uh, causing a lot of database issues or, uh, you know, it just simultaneously handles a lot of users really well. So make sure you're enabled, you enable Nginx on your WordPress website or any of your websites and watch your website speed increase. Thank you. That is all.